All of our recruits have different challenges. You know, some grew up in privileged lives. We have single mothers, we have single fathers. I mean, there's challenges on different levels. Certainly, no one grew up like Jacob did and faced his challenges. Let's go, Mosh, finish strong. Jacob. I came from a, a lawless country. I said I'm from Sudan. That's why, is that why you're getting all this video of him? Uh-huh. I was wondering. Plus he runs faster than everybody here. Jesus. <laughs> no, no. My life changed when the village was attacked because the government of Khartoum was throwing bombs and shooting people. You know, when emergency happened, you don't know what exit to take. America dream, if you want to achieve anything, you can achieve it. I, I, I can't underestimate this police academy. Now you feel you have a strong heart to do things. But the body doesn't understand that. So your body can give up and something can happen. Well, thank God I'm still alive because I've gone through so many difficulties. You have to double time. Wherever you go, you have to run. You can walk at the academy like the way you want to. Today we do the ground fighting. Oh yeah? Yep. I think, I think that's what it is. I did some research yesterday. Do you know the term uh, Musungu? Yes. You do know that term? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for the white, right? For the white people. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that your official language or is that, you know, like from a different, uh, different tribe? Oh, that's a, that's a Kenyan. Okay. Kenyan language. Master to seven. Oh, ten. Huh. Echo circles. Dress high. Dress. Even finding a decent job is hard. I was fortunate to to find a job with the city of Atlanta. You know, I applied and went through the process. And that's why now I'm, a, I'm, I'm at the police academy. You know, working hard. <laughs> Try to make sure that I don't get fired or lose my job in one way or another. Because if it happens, where will I go? It's gonna be a big nightmare to me. 832, 511. Step up. We do have a number of people that are kind of wandering out there, they don't know what they want to do, and we're one of the few places that's hiring uh, in this poor economy. Crew Cali, sir, 25, sir, 510, sir. Atlanta's not an easy place to work, it never has been, but on any given day, it could be a lousy day for an Atlanta police officer, and so that's what we try to get him ready for. We want to see again how well, how long, how tough you are if you're going to stay in the fight. As a commander in the department, I wish we could have more people like Jacob. Um, I think he's a model recruit. I think quietly, there's a lot of people in Jacob's corner. Next! Hey, hey, hey! Mock surprised me in a sense of how aggressive he was. Mox, you better calm your butt down. You know, because he's such a gentleman and he's so mild-mannered. Touch him up. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. 
I think with him, what I told him the other day was the aggression is there. So that's not even an issue. Now it's just learning that controlled aggression. I remember, as police officers, we have to control the aggression. We're supposed to go from zero to 60, back down to zero. A okay, second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always control your aggression, you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, son. Let's go. Let's go, son. This new generation, as they call you guys, this entitlement, you know, two generation, this is where it gets you. Y'all was in your behinds toe up out there. I, I, I've been out here a single word, folks, I swear to God, because I will smoke you till you bleed. Sir, yes, sir. It is a part of the academy. It is like subculture. When they train you to become a police officer, that's how they, they discipline you. They want to see whether you can deal with all these kind of abuses, all these kind of yellings, all these kind of, uh, of talks. One, two, three! One, two, three! Let's go, more! All they want to see is whether you're strong, so if you're somebody who is mentally weak or uh, who doesn't have a very strong heart and desire to to continue then what are you going to do you're going to quit ah! Good on your feet. i will suffer now i'll be in a great pain but at the end of the day uh, you know Just those uniforms off. i will survive i will not die I never lock you in a class until I get one started. 9.38! Good job. Good job. Good job. 11 10. 11 Do you think so? I don't know, yeah. You hear anything, Pop? Let's go. 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 Let's My father died when I was very young in the, in the Civil War, and it was one of the, the, the guerrilla fighting. And when I left the village, it was getting out of control, out of hand, and people were being shot randomly. And I was seven at that time, heading to the direction of Ethiopia. In the jungle, I saw several people being eaten by wild animals, people dying because of hunger, people dying because of thirst. I think with God I can, I can, I can, I can survive. And I was eating the leaves of the trees. I'm somebody who have, who have believed that I cling to when things fall apart. Maybe God is testing me. Maybe He wants to see how strong I am. Usually this is that time when you kind of get a, uh, a feel of the mental makeup of these guys when they when they face with this pressure, some adversity, and see who's able to persevere through it. Need you to relax, Mark.
See that movement? You can't do that. Reload. Two right, two left. I just told you two right, two left. All right, is the line safe? Mark, you cannot follow simple instructions, son. That's coming back down for you. You need to go up. You need to go the other way. Give up. Please do the weapon! Do you drink coffee? You drink caffeine? I don't drink You don't drink any of that? Okay, because you're so jittery, I think you're on like two pots of coffee or something. I can't do him tomorrow. I can't do it. When you heard the bullets, did that bring back any memories of the sounds you had heard as absolutely, a kid? Absolutely, absolutely. It does remind me of the things that I went through when I was back home. So the sound of the guns was not, uh, was not a big deal for me because I know how it sounds. Now, were you chased by lions and tigers, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what is the big deal with this? I don't know, ma'am, what I'm doing, really. Just listen to me. I'll get, I'll get you through it. All right. All right? All the commander come. Draw your weapon. Move it, come. Come. All right, extend out. Watch the front sight. Front sight in between the rear sight. Pull it. All right, remember, it's one right, one left, one left reload. reload. One right, one left. Yeah, all right, just relax. Don't miss any, please. Stand out. That's what I need right there. Give me two more, exactly what you just did. Pay attention. Right, 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 left, right, left. Get to the right. Right. Left, left. You all right, you all right, you all right. Hey, can you play that back somehow so I can see how, what she said? She promised him a hundred bucks or what? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, my I should. I should it. Yes, with the gun, man. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, it says that you can do everything through God. So I ask God that you are the provider of everything. You give human beings power, knowledge. So I am going to do this in your name, and of course I will. Okay, on you. Get up in that seat. Get up in that seat. Turn the wheel. All right, let's go. Not too much. There you go. Turn it hard now. Turn it hard. There you go. Come on, come on. Put it right here. Go. Come on, I need you to work. Gas, 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 gas. Go to the left. Now go over here. Come on. Ma, are you listening to me? 
stop putting on the brakes. Come on, come on. I'm telling you to stop putting on brakes and you steady putting on brakes. It's slowing your time down. If you look at the numbers, most people wash out for two reasons. It's either firearms or emergency driving. Uh, both of those are difficult skills. Not everyone's good at them. Um, we have some kids that didn't start driving until they were 19, 20 years old. Now they're in the police academy and they have to drive 40 miles an hour around a curve and negotiate cones and they can't do it. All right, you got scared. Cone down, pull up. Can I get somebody to get a good run out of these next four here? Get guys, come on. All right, that's what happens when you, you know, like you don't have no sense, son, out of control. If that happens again, you will be removed. Oh, man. It, it ain't as easy as it sounds. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> I try to, to apply the fundamentals. Uh, let's go, March. The way they have been explained to us, but they were not working quite well with me, so I don't know. All right, keep going, March. Just, you already know, keep going. I saw you got a feather it. It is what it is. But you know next time. Rome, Rome wasn't built in a day, bro. It took two days. <laughs> wow. It's not listening very well or comprehending very well. Not very sure which one it is. Unfortunately, if he does not pass on tomorrow, um, we will have to separate him from the academy. There's no more coaching tomorrow, all right? Y'all have to make the adjustment. Tomorrow is D-Day. It's test time. There you go. Just remember, it shifts easier when you pull it to you. Just pull it to you, then ease it out. Um, he just hasn't driven much uh, compared to many of us in the class. And he's just behind the curve on driving in general, just needs more practice. So he's, he's doing better on it right now, and uh, hopefully he'll, it'll carry over tomorrow. All right, cut it. We got this, got it. I got it, though. Can I see if I can put it? One, two, three. Yeah. If you knock a cone over, automatically disqualify? Yes, you can't knock a cone over. I might have underestimated the difficulties that, that uh, I will encounter. Yeah, but I, I always think that, um, that I can do anything. I believe in my abilities. All right, Maj, this is going to be your final test. Come on, let's do it. Good down here. Check it for me, Officer Carter. Good. Go ahead, pull out, Mark. Pull it over here and park. All right, you ready? Last test of time. You sweating, man? <laughs> you sweating? Now, guess what? Hear me saying this. You getting close. You getting a little bit too sloppy. You all right? Yes, ma'am. Questions? No. All right. Enjoy this, man. Do this damn thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to let you down. You got to work hard for me. Yeah, so. we're working hard, man. Yes, sir. All right. Come on, you do it. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Stay focused, stay hungry. All right, hey, it's a setback, it's a test. And unfortunately, you didn't make it through, okay? So at this time, the academy will have to separate you for the second failure, yes, okay? One thing I wanna say to you is you've been a positive light. I've learned a lot about you in the last, what, 10, 11 months? Yes, ma'am. Haven't seen you down too much. I mean, I, I know you're down now, and I know you're going to beat yourself up right now. I know oh, it. Yes. But like I tell all the other recruits, there's a time and a season for every reason. Okay? All right. It's been a pleasure. Mine too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want a hug or you want a handshake? It doesn't matter. <laughs> on, I know. Good job. All right. All right. All right. Taser, taser, taser. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Right now, I'm not thinking about the academy. I'm not thinking about the gun. Come on. Come on. The paper is spray. The evac. Because that is a gone issue. Good. I'm thinking to move forward to a new direction. My new direction now, my new place is code enforcement. The God has tilted the wheel to another direction and that's here I am now with the code enforcement. I'll give my best abilities to do this job uh, as far as I'm concerned right now. And I'm glad to be in this great country because I learn a lot coming to a new country to try to know people. You're an amazing person. Oh, thank you. Many good things to come, I'm sure, as oh, determined you. as you are. This is the first time for me to, to get this, this kind of job uh, since I've been in the U.S. Because when I look at it, I'm going to learn a lot. You know, you have to study the cases. You have to study the city code, city ordinance, city statutes. You're going to be looking for some great things out of you. Thank you. Like you said when we first met, you're ready to get these bad houses taken care <laughs> of, right? Out, right? <laughs> You know, America Dream is a, it's a continuous process. It, it never ends. Yeah, I'll keep you going. You guys still carry it? Good work, sir. Go, keep it going. Hold me a liar, Turbo.